hitting, pitching, it's all bad for the Toronto Blue Jays, but which is worse? What's up, it's Arden and Ben from At The Letters, brought to you by the all new 2019 Ford Ranger. Wish I had something a little less dispiriting to ask you this week, Ben, but I don't, because the Blue Jays are not hitting. They also are not pitching. Which of those two factors is more of a concern? Well, you could make a strong case for either one, and that says something about where the Blue Jays are at right now. To me, I would go with the pitching, because when you look at this staff, you have significant questions with Edwin Jackson, with Ryan Firabend, the lefty knuckleballer that they brought in after three AAA starts. Both those guys would represent question marks, and I think at this point, too, Aaron Sanchez does, just given the health of his fingers. So, where on the offense, you actually have some significant upside there, not only with guys like Brandon Drury or Gritchuk, but you also have Vlad Jr. who's now showing that he can hit. I don't think you can point to the same sort of reasons for optimism in that rotation right now. Yeah, Blue Jays just have such a shocking lack of starting pitching depth at this point, or maybe they have too much depth that isn't good enough because they've had 10 starters uh, to this point in, in the season. Look, Charlie Montoyo is just looking for somebody who can give him innings. He's just looking for somebody who can take the ball every five days. That's the standard right now. Like That's the bar you're looking to surpass. Forget performance. If Edwin Jackson wants to go out and get hammered by the Red Sox and give up 115 mile an hour lasers around the diamond, that's fine because he's pitching innings, because he's taking the ball every five days. You know, outside of Marcus Stroman and Trent Thornton, you mentioned Aaron Sanchez, you can put him in that group, but it's getting a little dicey with some of the finger issues. And a lot of this does come down to injuries. When you look at the group that began the season, Clayton Richard hasn't pitched a game for this team yet. Matt Shoemaker won't pitch again for this team. Sanchez has battled his injury issues. And Ryan Barucki, who I think a lot of us were looking to as a possible breakout candidate, someone who could really take a step forward potentially in 2019, he just hasn't done it and he hasn't been healthy and at this point when he's just throwing up to 90 feet it's hard to envision him coming back before what the middle of june end of june and that's even being aggressive so you really do have a lot of injuries contributing to this and they haven't been able to backfill effectively to the point that we are now seeing these questions play out in real time yeah, I don't know what to think of Ryan Baraki. We've been hearing, you know, such differing things and such differing opinions on when he's going to be available for the Blue Jays. Clay Buckholtz, another name you can add to that list. This guy is going to miss significant time due to injury. Look, the Blue Jays rolled the dice this year with a lot of pitchers with injury concerns and a lot of pitchers with histories of not being able to perform due to injury and it's come around and it's come to roost in a very big way in the bullpen blue jays not exactly getting a lot more consistency outside of ken giles ryan to giving up a lot of hard contact elvis luciano the last four times he's taken the mound he's given up earned runs he is walking a batter an inning how far can you go with a 19 year old rule five pick on your roster giving up runs, not performing well when your pitching staff is in such dire straits. We'll see. I mean, we'll see how far the Blue Jays can go. But to me, I think they've gone far enough. I think that when you're watching a young pitcher who's walking a batter every inning, and that's the average right now for Luciano, then you're not getting effective innings uh, at a major league caliber from him. So I think that I've personally seen enough to the point that they could return him safely and be fine. They took their shot and it's not working out as well as they hoped right now. Of course, there's stuff there, there's pure stuff, a changeup, there's a velocity on the fastball, but you do need some combination of stuff and results. So that's why I say that, uh, you know, after two months, certainly they've given him a reasonable amount of time to prove himself. That's Ben, I'm Arden, it's at the letters at sportsnet.ca slash podcasts.